I'm here with Sugar Secrets for the Paul Bradford blog and I need to start for the Movie Dogs presentation with Emma Ball who thought about this from the start and has actually instigated the implementation. Emma, what on earth made you think of doing Movie Dogs? If I'm being honest, it wasn't all my idea. It really was a group effort. We all worked together and I'd like to say it started on a drunken night out but I wasn't drinking so I don't know where that came from. Um, it's this one over there. <laughs> we kind of like escalated and came up with the idea together. We all worked on it and then chose a nice amazing team to work together and took it from there. But when we were trying to work out what we were going to do, the amount of photos of dogs in funny costumes on the internet showed us that we were really on the right track, weren't we? Uh, which dogs did you do for your show? I did the Border Collie and the little black scruffy thing <laughs> dressed as Monsters Inc. who are actually based on my own dogs. <laughs> so. Who are adorable as well, absolutely adorable. I'm going to speak to Raywin. Raywin from Australia has come over especially for this show but she's also managed to do this dog. In how many days did you manage to do your little Marilyn? A day and a half, two, two days, yeah, all up. So in the meantime, we're very lucky to have you with us, extremely lucky. Are you going to come back and do it again next year? I hope so, if I get invited back, if I'm allowed back. Yeah. <laughs> so when, you, when you're doing this at short notice and in another country, in another place, not your own workshop, what was so difficult about doing this dog? Oh, nothing. It was brilliant. I was at Kelly's house. We got to cake <laughs> together, so it was fantastic. I just kept looking at her thinking, yeah, mine needs to go in the bin. <laughs> so Molly, Molly does dogs all the time. You're, you love dogs, don't you? You always do dogs. I do a lot of pugs. <laughs> So this was a bit. This was a little bit of an easy job for you. Yeah, it was. It was simple. I, I do this every wedding cake any day. <laughs> and Callie, Callie did the most amazing one. Yours is absolutely beautiful. An artist, anyway. We all knew that Callie would come up with something wonderful. Explain what you did for yours. I did the Great Dane puppy, um, Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind, um, iconic movie. Um, my mother uh, made sure that we were introduced to Gone with the Wind from a very young age. I've watched it a gazillion times, always inspired, love Scarlett O'Hara, and that was my inspiration. And it's a work of art, your dog as well, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Tracy is going to say something now against her wishes about her. everybody's looked at yours, Tracy, and they've said instantly, that's got to be Little Cherry's cake. It's a bit noticeable. What did you use for the blood? Because I love that effect on the blood. It's um, corn syrup and red food colouring made into blood. Yeah. So you heard it here first. Tutorial on blood from Black Cherry Cake Company. And Mish, who you were also very instrumental in organising this. You're a little bit emotional because we have some of the best cake makers and decorators in the country and the world, should I say, Raywin. We have some of the best people who've all come together to do this. We actually thought we were doing it for a little bit of a show, not to be competing. We actually were competing. We've won, haven't we? We've won. And Michelle, this has got you really emotional, hasn't it? It has. I've made some amazing friends whilst we've been doing this project. It's not just for me. Well, for me, definitely, it's not just been about the cake. It's with the catch-ups that we've had and the meats and the, the giggles and the laughs and things. And friends for life. And, of course, the icing on the cake was having Paul Bradford, who's busy teaching now, so we can say stuff behind his back. Super dog from a super guy is absolutely adorable, Paul Bradford. Paul Bradford, we love you. We love you. You're here in spirit. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Emma, especially for coming up with the initial idea, but for everybody else to implementing it. Paul, we love you. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs>